Question 21. Sean has information about the height in centimetres and weight in kilograms of each of the ten, of 10 rugby players. He is asked to draw a scatter graph and a line of best fit. Here's his answer. Hmm, interesting. Well, Sean has plotted the points, write down two things that are wrong. Well, the line clearly should be along there, shouldn't it? That's where the line should be. So what, first thing I would say is, he don't know how to do this. Sean, that's where the line should be. So I'd write in here, he has not drawn the line of best fit correctly. And then you always look for axes and different issues here. So, you know, this goes up in fives, but look here, look. That that should go up in tens and that hasn't. Has he labelled it correctly? This goes up in five, yeah. So it's not equal intervals. Not equal intervals along the x-axis. Because that's often one. Or they might put a point wrong. Or they might not have enough points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are ten there. So you've got to hunt a bit for that. But they're the two that I'm expecting they would hope you to get. So let's look now at question 22. I hope this is helping you guys. So here we go. Now, two parallel lines. We have to work out the X there. So, how do I do this? Well, let's look at this angle here. And I can write on here, can't I? The angles on the straight line add up to 180. So 180 minus the 110 minus the 25. Got a calculator, use it. Don't think, oh, I can do this and then make silly mistakes. Now, the other thing I need to remember is angles in a parallel line. That is a Z angle and it's called alternate, isn't it? You get a Z shape called alternate. Then there are other ones as well, corresponding and co-interior. So co-interior is a good one. There, co-interior. So you've got to look for all of these ideas. What I think, because I need to find this angle here, if I can find this one as well, then I know the angles in the triangle add up to 180. How do I work out that? Well, I think I've given the clue. That angle and that angle add up to 180. They're called co-interior and they sum to 180 degrees. So I know that 45 plus a 25 is 70 degrees, use your calculator. And I know that if I add the 35, 105, use your calculator, 180, take away 105, 75 degrees. So I know that's 75 degrees. So all the angles in the triangle add up to 180. So 180, take away the 75, take away the 45, is what you're looking for. And once you see it done like that, you think, I can do that. This is question 22 after all. Pretty hard stuff. Well done. So what about question 23? Let's have a go at question 23. Now, Northern Bank has two types of account. They both pay compound interest. And that's good. Compound interest is a lot better than um, silly simple interest. Ali invests 2,000 in the savings account. Ben invests 1,600 in the shares account. So this is my savings account, my shares account. Work out who will get the most by the end of three years. Okay, so it's compound, which means you have a principal amount, amount you put in, call it principal, and then you times that by the interest that you get to the power of the number of years. So the rate to the power of the number of years. So let's look at this one here. Okay, so he puts in 
Ali puts in into the savings 2000 it gives an interest rate of 2.5%. 2.5% added to 100 is 102.5%. Now, as your multiplier, 1.025, you might have to research a bit about that, to the power of 3. Okay? Now, in a minute, we'll work that out, but I'll just show you how that also works for Ben here. Principal amount puts in. His rate of 3.5%, add that to the 100, 103.5%, and that multiplier is then going to be 1.035. Clearly more, but he puts in less to begin with. And again, over three years. So let's try that on our calculator now. 2000 times 1.025 to the power, see that button there, of 3 equals std 2153.78 now let's see Ben's 1600 times 1.035 to the power of 3 equals now the question asks um, who will get the most interest. Not who's got the most money, but who will get the most interest. So I need to take each of these away from what they originally put in. So take that away from the 1600, minus the 1600. So Ben gets that much money. And if I take that away, I can see Ali gets that. So work out who will get the most interest. It's Ben. And you're right, Ben gets the most. Then says, then says, in the third year, the rate of interest for the shares account is changed to 4%. Does this affect who will get the most interest at the end of three years? So in the third year, the rate of interest for the shares is changed. So in the third year, the rate. It's only one mark, so you should be able to do this quite easily. And yeah, it will, because you're increasing it to 4%. So um, the shares account here is 4%. Ben is in the shares account, so no, it won't change who gets the most because Ben's already got the most. So changing it up to 4% won't change it, will it? Because he's already getting the most. So no, because Ben already has the most. Don't like that question. I think it's a silly question. Third year, the rate of interest for the shares account goes to 4%, boom, but he's already doing that and he's already got most, so no, silly question.